Good afternoon, my name is the Russian Badger, and before you watch this, you should be prepared for quite a bit of fast forwarding and super fast mode, as a lot of people call it. First here, my my enemy here has some really shitty aim, and I pick him out, and then it's more super fast mode. And I die, and a whole bunch of stuff, and then here, I just screw up in this tank. I just can't manage to hit this guy, so I decided to take him on foot, and then I get his pal over here in the corner with like a quick quick no scope. I don't know how I pulled this off, but I just kind of waved around my rifle. See, that's just, I waved my rifle around. I somehow got a no scope. And then here I get the old uh, Patrick Bateman in the back of this guy's skull. I don't know if you guys know what that is or if you've ever seen American Psycho, but I get this guy's dog tags by stabbing him in the back of the head and then super fast mode again. And then I get this kid pretty hard as he's running. And I'm using the SV-98, which I really like quite a bit, just because of its great rate of fire, and I'm playing hardcore as well, and I know many of you might say, oh man, it's hardcore, it's so easy to snipe, and I, I do agree with you to some extent, just because, and I get this guy here, and I get a whole plethora of points from destroying that tank and getting that guy. But I do agree with you that it's much easier to snipe on hardcore, but I just can't stand how much damage it takes to kill someone in softcore regular mode. I get this guy right in the face here with a marksman headshot. 55 extra points, I think. Yeah, 55. And then I see this Russian guy in a red cap. Sniper's delight. It's so easy to spot those Russian medics. And so I see him running. I keep looking for him here. I finally find him, and then I get him right in the back of the neck. And then we're going to fast forward again. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, this is pretty quick. And I get sniped by a spawn camper, and we keep going, keep going, keep going. And then these two kids get it right in the butt. Okay, what happens is there's one guy in the gun, there's one sniper to the left of him. So I, just, I decided to call in artillery, and then this is hilarious. I get the guy in the gun, and he flies back. Watch, he flies, boom, he flies way back. <laughs> And I get a whole bunch of points for killing the other guy and getting some kind of vehicle kill. I don't know how I got that. Maybe it was a mounted machine gun. And then here, uh, I put down my sensors and I hear them going off so I know a guy's coming up the stairs. Plus, I heard him on my headphones. So then I get in the back of the stairs and I'm just ready to rape him right in the butt. Watch this. In the ass. Boom. He gets blown back. So I got him pretty hard. Outsmarted. And then I keep going here all the way through, all the way through. And then I call an artillery and that building and it doesn't do a whole lot because I got smacked by a tank and then we keep going this is super fast mode for a while then I come up here I get this guy who's a little inconspicuous to me and then boom right in the face headshot and this next segment where I go up these this set of ladders or the ladder I don't know how this but he misses me with his knife I cap him pretty hard with the old trusty M9 but I have no idea how he missed that maybe that's just a glitch where you can't knife on the ladder I don't know what it is but he screwed up pretty bad there and then since I am not one of those camping snipers one I'm one of those snipers that plays the objective I actually go and I set a set the charge at a and then as soon as I go over to the corner I get my ass blasted by this tank just blasted and then eventually they do up excuse me oh, I'm drinking ginger ale and burping like a mother all right so they defuse it, and then I see the sniper here. I cannot even tell you how badly I fail at shooting this guy. I just can't shoot with pistols worth jack. I miss him so bad, and then you know what? Right here, I'm like, fuck it. I'll just throw a grenade and be done with it. I'm not even going to try to attack you. There. Take that grenade. Then I I get this guy's dog tagged with the old Patrick Bateman yet again. He's a different guy, but I get the Patrick Bateman on him. And then I kind of hide in the corner because I think there's a tank. And then after a while, it's just more super fast mode. And then this sniper, I don't know how he didn't realize there was two of us in this building, but he just comes to the top of the stairs and decides to not check out the building before he starts shooting. And I get him in the face with a random hip fire headshot. Then I go in here, trying to play the objective again, not be a campy sniper, and I get raped from three different angles. So I decided to spawn as assaults because I really want to get this objective done because we only have 24 tickets left. And this is just a clusterfuck of guys. Okay, I get that guy. I'm reloading. I know I'm not going to kill this guy with my... I can't reload in time. So then I get on my trusty M9. I throw a grenade. This guy gets me, but I get my sweet revenge with a martyrdom. See, I kill him right there with that grenade that I threw. Yeah, martyrdom does exist in bad company. Boom. Alright, so... And then here... I don't even know what I'm shooting at. I'm shooting at, like, ghosts or something. I just felt like spraying. Uh, and then here... 
I don't know how I don't kill this guy with an M203, but this teammate ahead of me is so retarded, I can't even describe it to you. Okay, so enemy jacks that tank, and then this guy runs out, does not shoot that guy, runs back, and he kills both of us. So thanks for getting my way, and then we're both victims of an LMG spray. Just awesome. And then this guy, I come up, I get him straight in the face, head, back of the head, wherever you want to describe it. I pull up my trusty parachute, go over to this building, and... I, Mainly I went up to this building for the mountain, mounted rockets so that I could take out one of these tanks, but the tank evidently evacuated the area and is going up towards our spawn. And I do get a damage on it, but I don't don't explode it. And then here, a teammate of mine set the charge, so I'm just going to sit here and make sure that it gets exploded. And then I kill one guy, miss another, and then there's like a whole clusterfuck of guys in here. I don't even know what happens here. I revive a guy so much, and then... Over here, I'm going to A, and I go set A, and then this, there's this next string of clips where I just don't know how I didn't see these guys. I just don't see them, and I don't shoot at them. Like, right here, there's a guy that jumps straight down. You can see him straight ahead, and then I miss him. I somehow turn around and ignore him. I don't know how I did that while I was playing, but he gets me straight in the asshole, and then I get revived. I miss that guy who was straight ahead of me. I somehow turn around. I just missed two guys in the span of like 30 seconds, but I throw a grenade, but it does not work. And the guy disarms it, which is very saddening. And then I go over to B, because I know they're probably really focused on A, and I was the, vic the victim of Cypher Fire. So then I go over to B, I go over to Bravo here. I miss this guy so hard. I miss him so hard with the XMAs, and then I pull out my trusty M9 again, which bails me out every time. It's just, it's just that trusty M9. I mean, I'm not really a big fan of the M1911, uh, the uh, 45 caliber one. I don't know. It's just two small clip sizes, seven shots. But a lot of people are really fond of that weapon. I don't find it that awesome. But here we get B uh, destroyed. And then I sit here and then I run way ahead. And then I'm waiting for the go ahead to go forward. And then... I get hit by a spawn camper, uh, sniper, and then I keep going forward. And then this is the little sneaky plan I got here. As soon as they arm an objective or other teammates of mine arm an objective, I like to wait 10 seconds. I can remember counting out loud, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, until I go to B. Just because so many people rush to A and then that's a perfect time to rush to B. And they do defuse A, but I rape this guy in the face. And then I set B and we do end up eventually getting B. But the bad thing is, is that they defuse Alpha, they defuse A. Sorry, I'm burping like a mofo, dude. I'm drinking way too much ginger ale. Okay, I miss this guy so hard. And then I throw a grenade. I basically ignore him after that. Just like the last guy I missed with my pistol. I'm like, you know what, fuck it. And then this guy gets a spray in the face. And then I miss that guy. I don't know how I missed that guy. He was like right in front of me. And I just ignored him. I don't even know how I didn't see him. But I do eventually get my sweet revenge on that guy. I go all the way back, and then he's one of the guys that I get here. Now here, and I know some of you might be, oh, why aren't you shooting every guy that runs across? Well, I only have a 30-round clip, or thir around 30-round clip, for my XM8. And I know I'm not going to be able to get them all, but basically I just serve as a distraction until they get A destroyed. I get this guy pretty hard with a 203. And that's another thing that I really like doing, just spraying and distracting the enemy so that they go for me instead of the objective. I don't really care if I die, but it's just that few seconds where they have to stop, aim down their sights, try to shoot me, and that gives valuable time for the objective to explode, which is very, very good for our team. And then here I got this guy with a quick spray. Not really a spray, more like a quick tap. And then I zoom, zoom, zoom over here, and I bust a hole in the wall. I arm the objective. There's a bunch of super fast mode here. I get this guy, and then my teammate shoots me in the back of the face, and then he revives me, but he did kill me. And then eventually, I just fail at killing the sniper, but then I get this medic right here. And then I get two more guys after that. Actually, I think I only get one more. Yeah, this one guy. And then the sniper goes for me instead of the objective, which explodes, and I really enjoy that. This is a distraction, that's really all I am. So blah blah blah, yay we win. My KDR ends up being 1.76, I go 30 to 17, which is decent for assaulting and getting that many objectives, I think. Not for a camping KDR, but I'd consider it pretty good. I will see you guys soon with another commentary. See you guys later.